When I started learning to code, I could have applied for a computer science course and spent four years earning a degree, but I didn't do that. So here's how I became a full-time software developer without a degree. So I actually started learning to code because I had a startup idea and I wanted to build it, not because I wanted to make a living out of building projects for other people, which is ironically what I do now. So it would have been silly of me to spend four years getting a degree on the basis that I had one business idea and I didn't know whether it was gonna work. As a bit of background info, I've always been a bit of an aspiring entrepreneur. Since the age of 17, I've worked full-time for myself. So my motivation to learn to code was actually because I wanted to succeed as an entrepreneur, not because I wanted to be a software developer. The reason why I'm telling you this is because it largely explains this very specific path that I've taken. The first thing I did was start buying Udemy courses that would teach me how to develop a mobile app using Ionic and Angular, which is very outdated now. I basically ran through this whole course within about a week and came out of it knowing a lot more about how to build a mobile app, but only using the very specific methods that this teacher had taught me. Methods that were not actually industry standard and I would later have to grow out of. But of course it did teach me how to write my first lines of code and taught me the processes involved in building an app. So I launched my first app and we started with rather high revenues, but we couldn't make the profit margin that we wanted to, so we closed it down. So there I was having failed in my first ever app venture after telling everyone that I successfully built an app. Now it was really embarrassing until someone asked me to build their app for them. I think you can see where this is going now. Now that was a really defining moment for me because it's how I became a full-time developer without a degree. So I ended up pitching for the project, despite only having one piece of work to show them, which in hindsight wasn't even that good. Like I said, I was developing using Angular, Ionic and Firebase, which in current day are not industry standard. This meant that I had to learn how to build proper software instead of just throwing it together. So I ended up using this client project to learn how to code properly, all while earning the equivalent of a full-time wage. Deals just do not get better than that. So by the end of the project, I had learned a lot. And when it came to the next person asking me to build their project, I already knew kind of what I was doing, but I still had a lot to learn. So I kept learning on the job. As I'm sure all other experienced developers would agree, you never actually stop learning. So now a few years later, I've learned exactly what I need to know in order to build high quality projects. But if there's ever something I don't know how to do, I just figure it out along the way. Maybe you think that's a bad way to take on client work. Personally, I think it's great because no matter what, I'm promising them that I'm going to deliver the product that they are asking for. If you're someone who's thinking about getting into tech, I wouldn't recommend signing up for a degree straight away. In fact, I know a lot of people like me who are self-taught and never went to university at all. Start by breaking into the community and figuring out if you really want to do this before you commit to it long term. After you figure that out, if you feel like getting a degree is the route you want to go down, great, go get one. If not and you want to become more of a self-taught developer, great, do that as well. But regardless of the path that you choose, be prepared for some struggles along the way. But stick to it, you'll get there.